Come to the Calm down. Come 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 down. Come
Okay, what is your name? <laughs> oh, my, my name is Honorable General Ita Tia. And how old are you? I, I am between 24 to 28 years. But because of the depreciation of the city, you can give me to 23. <laughs> Where do you live? Oh, I live with my parents. Okay, where do your parents live? My parents live with me. <laughs> okay, take your time, buddy. Um, where do all of you live? Oh, we all live together. <laughs> My house is close to my neighbor's house. <laughs> and where is your neighbor's house? And my neighbor's house is close to my house. You do why? <laughs> come on, eat them. Why? Why? <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, don't worry. We agree to disagree, so please, I, I beg you. We don't agree to disagree. If we agree, we agree. If we disagree, we disagree. I beg you. <laughs> How can you be married and single at the same time? Oh, because I, I was married, but my wife passed away, so good. <laughs> okay, so um, what is your color complexion? No, oh, I, I, I was fair, but because of the doom so doom so, I'm now dark. <laughs> because when the light goes off, I stay in the dark, so it has affected my skin. <laughs> okay. Every young person, you know, has some kind of inspiration, some kind of principle that will lead them to where they want to go. As a young man, what is your motto in life? Oh, okay, motto. Yeah, uh, previously, I was using Yokohama, uh, <laughs> but it was consuming too much water, so I have taken to Tamasu. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about motto as a form of transportation. I'm talking about motto as a form of aim. A I M. Your aim. Oh, aim. I got internal movement. <laughs> now, I, I, I don't have any movement to join. I'm now thinking of joining the Mokola movement. movement. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, um, what makes you think that you can be the president's special advisor? Uh, I don't think I can be the president's special advisor, but I think Ghanaians are thinking that I can be his advisor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll ask you a few questions. Oh, okay. No, no, no problem. Okay. You know, but please, uh, hurry up. Uh, 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 I'm in a hurry. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You know, Nigeria recently elected your president. Oh, y yes, of course. Yes, in the whole world, they say that you are very much impressed with the way they handle the whole electoral process. Please, uh, are you uh, asking me a question or you are giving me a statement? <laughs> I want you to understand the question very, very well. Okay. Please, cut it short. You might confuse me. <laughs> okay, everybody is garbage for Nigerians. You know, they did very, very well. But, you know, Ghana had a, a problem in 2012, you know, election petition in the court. Suppose we have a similar problem in 2016 and the issue of over voting comes up. As a president's best advice, how would you define over voting? Oh, okay, this, this is simple. I thought you were going to ask me a, a specific question. <laughs> over voting is, is simple. Over voting is, is a, a process whereby if a woman is going to vote and has a baby at the back, it is over voting. <laughs> How can that be over voting? Because if the mother is going to cast the vote, the baby will see who the mother is voting for. Double eyes. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, in 2008, you know, the MPP said we are moving forward. Then DC said that we are not moving forward, but we are moving forward in the right direction. Seven years down the line, you think that Ghana has moved forward, and if Ghana hasn't moved forward, I mean, what is your whole perspective about this moving forward? Let me, let me ask you, where, where are we moving forward to? <laughs> where, where do we want to go? Do you know what is ahead of you? You don't know. Grammy Puma said, forward, ever, back, backwards, eh, 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 never. But me, I say no. We should be in the middle of half time. <laughs>
Because when you stand at the independent square and you look at, it, at, at your back, it's the sea. When you go forward, it's the Osu Cemetery. Where are we going? <laughs> You know, we have an issue in the government sector with ghost names. A recent scandal was an NSS scandal, you know, it has had so, so bad. Ghost names. As a president's best advice, how are you going to advise him to handle ghost names, you know, in our register? I will easily tell the president that we should just call all the ghosts and compensate them. <laughs> because who invited the ghost in the first place? It's the human beings. The ghosts were somewhere thinking about themselves. And we invited them. So we should just compensate them so that they will go. This issue of clearing the, the, the ghost name for the registers, I don't agree. One day, if the ghosts get annoyed and they go on the demonstration, then I will stop out. <laughs> because Okay. 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 Good. Good. Um, that is interesting. You know, um, I am a bailout. Okay. Ghana is going for I am a bailout, and it's assumed that that means government must cut off employment. Okay. So that means more unemployment for the youth, more problem. How do you seek to address this issue of unemployment? Because that means that the youth are going to, you know, suffer after school, no work to do. How would you advise the president to address that? Oh, I'll just tell the president that we should, we should bring the national conference to Independence Square so that the youth will form a long queue. If it is Tete Ghana, we should just share it to everybody. Take your money, that's your share from the national conference, and go and use it for your own life. If you go and you spend it and you don't make any meaningful uh, profit, it's your own. <laughs> okay. Ghana and I repose. You know, you know we are recently battling over an issue, border issue. How can you advise the president like on that issue? How can we win that case? I, I don't even know why Ghana we we we, we, we just sit it down and then have go send that to, to the world court. I don't know. See, this this thing, Ghana, we have to use what we have to, to get what we want. Ghana is the gateway to West Africa. Every day we boast about it. If Africans want to send out people, we should just close our gates. <laughs> when we close the gates, we will see where they will pass to the other African countries. We will see. They can't get anywhere to go. So I will simply tell the president that we should just shut our gates. <laughs> okay. Uh, doom so, doom so is, is a big crisis. You know about it. You know. I mean, it's breaking the government down. It has blinded the citizens of Ghana. You know, not, nobody seems to know what the government is doing because of the two of of prices. How can you advise the president to solve this issue of two of of Oh, in this one, I, I will not advise the president. I will pray for the do so do so. <laughs> um, please, shall we pray? Oh, Father Lord, uh, good, good evening. <laughs> How are you and your angels? <laughs> Father, this evening I, I bring the doom so, doom so in the front of you. Oh, Father, why? <laughs> in the beginning, he said, let there be light and there was light. <laughs> why are we going through darkness? Uh, Father Lord, this evening we send four macho men. Four macho men, they should pick bucket and fetch water to the house and go down. Father Lord, they should feel it, oh. Father Lord, they should feel the house and go down, oh. Ha! We down. We down. You, you just came recently and you broke it down. Why? We, you, you, we don't know what to do. We, if you don't rise up to produce energy for the country, we will throw you down and we will open the Kalila. Why? <laughs> Dr. Soja, my Tantia, I'm doing yours.
your hands together for Anna. All that I'm glad is that the way she's done this song. But all I'm happy about is I did it first. 